Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so as I've mentioned a few times recently, the reason No Doors Allowed didn't come out at the end of last year, like I was originally planning, um, was because my cover guy had a lot of stuff going on in his life, um, which has kind of spilled over into the new year a little bit, and uh, yeah, there, there's still a lot going on with him at the moment, um, which means that I've not been in regular contact with him like I would be usually. I mean, I've been trying, <laughs> um, but I've not always been getting responses. Um, I mean, that's that's perfectly fine. I I understand most of the stuff that, that is going on with him, and I'm not going to put any additional pressure on him or anything like that. Which is the reason why I decided to go ahead and. Um, create my own cover for No Doors Loud. Um, now I mentioned a few weeks back, I think, um, January, February time, that I sort of mocked up a version of the cover that was I was sort of reasonably happy with going ahead with if, you know, if all hell fails, I'm not, I'm not sure if I put it in those exact terms. Um, or not, but I had shown that version of the cover to the cover guy. I'd actually just wanted him to sort of tidy up a little bit more than anything else, but that had initially sort of sparked him with a little bit of inspiration for doing his version of the cover, and then he went AWOL again. So, <laughs> um, with that in mind, uh, last night as of filming this, um, but it will be just over a week ago from, well, slightly more than a, a week ago from, from when this one goes up. Um, I decided to go back in, see how I was feeling about the cover that I'd sort of mocked up, uh, see if I could tidy up the little bits and pieces I wasn't completely happy with. Um, and something that could be used as a cover for now. Um, I would be perfectly happy to keep this cover long term if that's what ends up happening. Um, but if my cover guy does create me something um, which I prefer, then obviously I will at some point change the cover. I mean, I've um, I've already changed the cover before. Uh, the cover for Echo, although didn't get a drastic re-change, um, did get modified after it went to KDP. For uh, the the change for it was um, because of the paperback cover. The paperback cover was. Uh, because of all the dimensions and stuff, my cover guy basically tidied up my original design um, for the Echo cover. Um, so it doesn't look like drastically different. So this would be the first time where the cover would look drastically different um, if, you know, if I do eventually get a new cover from him. But to be honest, the cover does look pretty good. It sort of, it vibes really well with the cover for the colours I see. and. Although they're all standalone books, No Doors Allowed is kind of the sequel to The Colours I See. It's the next part of that part of the story. Um, I think I've said before, although all four books definitely stand on their own, they're definitely standalone books. You don't have to read all of the books um, in, in all, any kind of order to sort of, you know, get a sense of what's going on with all these characters and stuff. Um, because I see in Hyena Boy are companions, uh, We Giants and No Doors Allowed are companions. They all happen at like, the, those two books and those two books happen at like the same time frame. But I think it is fair to kind of see No Doors Allowed as being kind of a sequel to The Colours I See and um, We Giants kind of being a sequel to Hyena Boy. Not exactly, um, but in terms of uh, the way the, the stories vibe and the way the stories kind of feel, I think it's fair to say that, yeah, it's it's sort of like uh, <laughs> it's, it's sort of like two little series within the same collection, but at the same time they're all sort of standalone books. All you know, they all work perfectly fine on their own. They just create a larger story when they're put together um, because you get the points of view from all of the, the different boys in all of the different situations. You get like lots of uh, details you wouldn't necessarily get if you were 
you know, just reading one of the books, um, as it were. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's kind of really nice that the Colours I See's cover and No Doors Allowed cover look pretty good together and sort of vibe pretty well in terms of, of how they look. They're not exactly the same cover. There's, like, lots of little um, nice sort of differences um, within them. But they, they vibe really nicely together. So that makes me, like, like seeing the, like seeing the collection, uh, the three covers of the collection so far, makes me kind of really happy and it gives me more definite ideas as to what I want to do with We Giants cover when We Giants come out and I want that cover to kind of vibe nicely with Hyena Boys cover and sort of take influence from how Hyena Boys cover has been done um, in order to sort of create the the cover for that one which I may or may not do myself. (laughs) Um, There is one thing I need to sort of get in order to uh, figure out the cover for for We Giants um, and then sort of figure out how to sort of do the background in the way. Yeah, if I'm I'm doing it myself, it's not necessarily going to be the easiest thing for me to do. Um, But at the same time, it's it's sort of, it's given me uh, a good um, idea of of how I want the, the series to sort of look where you've got these two sort of vibing covers um, was the two sort of series, but again, it's not really, they're not, I mean, the colours I see and No Doors Allowed probably come the closest to being, like, uh, first book and then sequel, um, in terms of, you know, how closely those two plots are related, but, like, all the plots are, are closely related, that's the whole point of it being a, a collection and having, like, the companion books and stuff like that, so, yeah, it's, it, it visually, it looks, it looks pretty good at the moment, I'm, I'm happier this morning than I was last night, um, now that I'm, like, able to see the covers together, now that I'm able to see how everything kind of looks together, it, it makes me a lot happier than I than I was. Um, I'm not at all confident <laughs> in my abilities as a cover maker, um, but I am reasonably happy with how things have turned out. I'm reasonably happy with how things look. So at this point in time, I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, let's uh, let's say this is it. Um, if this is the cover long term, then I'm going to be fine with that. Uh, if my cover guy does uh, manage to reach a point where he's able to to do covers for me again, then I may or may not get him to change that one. I may just sort of like go like skip over that one. Let's let's just do the next one because it's going to be a little bit more complicated. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I you know I'm I'm open if he if he you know does something and I really like it. Um, then there's no reason for me to sort of. I'm not so attached to this cover that I wouldn't um, alter it if something better were to come along. But at the same time, I'm pretty happy with how the cover looks um, and how it like looks within the series, um, the collection. So, um, as I said, I'm reasonably happy with it <laughs> um, at this moment in time. So, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. So having gotten myself a workable cover that I was reasonably happy with. Um, I have obviously decided now is the time to release No Doors Allowed. Um, So No Doors Allowed, from my point of view, will be coming out on the 20th of April, which I believe is the Tuesday before this vlog goes up. Um, which, yay, it, it'll be up just before uh, this vlog goes up. So as of the time of me talking about this, it is already uh, available or should already be... Uh, at the time of you seeing this, it should already be available, that's what I mean. Um, I can't, until it is available, um, put it for a free book promo, but my plan is to have the free book promo for it this weekend so from either from the day this vlog is going up or from the Saturday I've not 
100% decided on that one yet. Um, I think starting it from a, from a weekend, from a Saturday works better than starting it from a Friday. I have tried a Friday start before. It's not, it's not necessarily gone the best. So I think I'll probably be starting it from Saturday, but just know it will have its uh, initial run free book promo this weekend, <laughs> the weekend that this is going up because it should have been released the Tuesday before this goes up. So <laughs> you're interested in checking it out. I mean, it is, it is the biggest doorstop in the series. That is my one warning. Um, the Colours I See is the second longest, No Doors Allowed is the longest, We Giants when it, re when it releases will be the third longest, and Hyena Boy is really short in comparison to all of them. <laughs> um, I have no intention after these three books doing any more massive door stops like this. They are a lot of work to edit, um, there are a lot of work just in general to and like, like I don't really have the option at this point in time in releasing them as paperbacks either which is um which does sort of limit um you know the the ways in which uh, people can acquire and enjoy them um I mean you don't need paperbacks um I certainly do sell more digital copies than I do paperbacks just in general but it's nice to sort of give people that option when you can. Um, and unfortunately with the door stops, with uh, doing it through Kindle Direct, it's not feasible at this point in time to release any of them in paperback form, unfortunately. So it, uh, yeah, it, it's very much that kind of situation where it's not, uh, it's not, there's nothing wrong with how it's sort of set up and how it, it, it sort of works but at the same time it's like yeah it's something I'm very aware of um there's not something I can do a whole lot about unfortunately um so yeah I'm not planning on releasing any more door stops um anytime <laughs> anytime soon if at all um I think any other books I do have which are longer ones I think I've already sort of broken them down into like possible uh, series books anyway, for the most part. So there shouldn't be too much in, uh, shouldn't be too much uh, difficulty in sort of splitting those up properly. Um, certainly, all the other books that I've been working on uh, recently that I do plan to release in the next couple of years um, are designed to be shorter. They are designed to be more of the standard length for a young adult book. Um, so yeah, literally these are the only door stops. <laughs> these are the only door stops that I plan to release and everything else will be much shorter. Um, but I definitely want to get Wee Giants out before I start releasing the rest of the books um, that I have planned to release this year. And if I'm determined to start doing some of these covers myself, um, or looking into other people who can help me with the covers, I might be able to get that turnaround a little bit faster. I might be able to get the amount of books out this year that I would like to get out this year, but it's all dependent on how things go from here. As I said, you know, I fully understand why my cover guy has been uh, AWOL a lot recently, and, you know, he's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, if I can work with him again, that would be fantastic because he does do really good work. But if I can't work with him again and I do have to start doing things um, on my own and, and learning these skills, then that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily a bad position to be in. I mean, yes, the quality is not necessarily going to be as good as how as what I feel his is are and how good I feel his work is. But at the same time, it's going to allow me to release things when I'm ready to release things. Um, it will allow me to better plan um, pre-marketing and, and stuff like that, because uh, one of the things I definitely do find is that I'm not the best at uh, doing all the pre-release stuff. And part of that is when you're waiting on somebody else who's doing a favour for you to get your cover ready, you don't always know when you're going to be able to release something. So you you could be like really ready, but you don't have a date. And a lot of this pre stuff 
likes you to know when you're going to release, um, just as a sort of a, of a basic courtesy, if nothing else. Um, and I would have pushed the date back um, a little bit more for releasing No Doors Allowed if I hadn't already been waiting more than four months to release the book that was ready to be released in December. So, yeah, I know it's a little bit impatient of me, but I think, you know, in terms of I want to sort of get the ball, ro ball rolling a little bit this year, I want to uh, start making a little bit more headway with uh, everything this year. So for me, the, the best thing for me was to get um, No Doors Allowed out there with a little bit of pre-release stuff, but not a whole lot of pre-release stuff because I've just been waiting so long for it at this point that I just I just want it out there um, and then I can, I can work on everything else after that. I mean, I've done a little bit more stuff than I would normally um, just because I, I am aware of a few more things that are available to me um, it is uh, as of me filming this it is currently on pre-order on Amazon I've used that fact to already link it to my all authors which means I've already been able to create some of the um, the, the bannery type stuff that you and the marketing type type picturey stuff that they they allow you to create which like makes it look more professional than it actually is <laughs> like looks more professional than anything i can do um so yeah i've already uh looked in and I've, I've already done that sort of side of things um i've already created it its own my book to link which um for those of you who don't know which is probably most of you uh there is this site which allows you to basically create a universal link for your Amazon, for your Amazon books. Um, so rather than sort of like having to list all the different country ones, it will automatically take that person to um, their region's version of Amazon when they click on the link. Um, it's, I always put mine as my book to, um, or my book dot to slash, and then whatever I'm naming the link as. <laughs> um so yeah i've i've created quite a few of those um so i've got one for all of the books and then one for each of the collections uh as separate ones as well i've also got an author one uh it just makes things nice and easy especially when like most of your marketing gets done on twitter um i also it's what i use for linking things to my books on my website um, because again, it's a nice, easy way of take, redirecting that person straight to their Amazon um, rather than. So like the, this is the thing. So obviously, I um, I do click on a lot of book links on Amazon in order to support support the the indie uh, writer community that is on Amazon, and a lot of them will take me to the American site. Um, and I I can't buy it through the American site. I have to find it on the UK site and I, I mean I'm the easy way of doing that is like edit <laughs> to edit the URL um so that it is UK and not uh, .co uk and not .com um but I'm usually doing it on my phone and it's not always the easiest thing to do um whereas using my book too it just takes you straight to the um to your country's version of Amazon it's it's such a straightforward thing to do. It's also like the URL is usually a lot shorter than the URL that you would get for the actual Amazon one. Um, you can sort of make it say whatever you want it to say. So you can have it as short as you want it to have, as long as it you know makes sense to you, um, <laughs> as it were. Um, so yeah, I've I've created one of those for No Doors Allowed. I'm planning to update the page on my website for No Doors Allowed at some point today as well. Um, so that's another thing that I need to do today. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, I I've done a lot of little bits and pieces that for my other books. Um, weren't done until after because I wasn't aware of these sites or wasn't aware of these things that I could be doing beforehand um or like in the case of uh the two doll maker sun books 
I literally just released it as soon as the covers were ready. I didn't have, uh, I didn't give like any delay. I just was like, let's, <laughs> it's been waiting for too long. I'm going to release now. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's very much that sort of uh, that sort of situation with with this one. So fingers crossed, some of this pre stuff will not necessarily get me any um, get me any pre sales. I've never had like the only other time I've done a pre launch was with the colours I see, and I didn't get any pre sales from that. So I'm not expecting to get any pre sales from this. Um, but just sort of having like a week where I can sort of market and advertise it. Um, as much as possible and then um the, the that weekend to, to be all ready for the the free book <laughs> the free book promo which is always a great way of, of launching your book because it gives a reason for people to take a chance on it um initially i mean the door the door maker songs books probably have done the best of all of my pre-launches um all my pre-launches all of my initial first uh promos i think the door maker song did the best uh, certainly, um, certainly Broken Before Use was like, <laughs> like, I think that's the best I've ever done on a free uh, promo. So fingers crossed, No Doors Allowed will do okay. Um, but just to sort of get that sort of a little bit of initial interest in it and hopefully, yeah, I mean, um, it's also helped that um, there have been a few sales of the colours I see. And by a few sales, I mean three. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard to, to market. Um, but yeah, the, the, the fact that there have been a few sales of the colours I see, there have been um, some page reads of the colours I see recently as well. So all of that kind of boosts the colour I see up um, in the Amazon lists and the Amazon rankings to make that one more visible. So it should hopefully bleed on to um no doors allowed as well uh so yeah fingers crossed um it goes well certainly from here on out um i'm definitely considering doing my own covers um as an option you know for for situations like this so i'm you know taking a little bit of pressure off of my friend so that he can he can sort stuff out um, and I can just get on with releasing my books as and when I'm ready to release my books. Um, I'm not by nature an impatient person. I think the fact that I have waited, you know, so long. Because <laughs> I mean, I've been waiting essentially since the beginning of December. Realistically, I've been waiting since the beginning of December. Um, so you're, you're talking like four and a half months. That's that's a lot of being patient. Um, and, you know, I, I'm i very understanding. I'm not that, you know, I I do care enough about my friend to, <laughs> to not want to put pressure on him unnecessarily. Um, at the same time, I still want to get my books out there. And if from here on out, I'm going to have to be doing my own covers to do it. Well, sure. OK, let's let's do that. Let's um, let's figure it out. Let's, you know, take the initiative and actually, you know, see what happens. So, yeah, I hope you've all found this sort of interesting. Um, I hope you're looking forward to whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!